Let's find out how Flavia flipped over 20 houses as a real estate investor. How long did it took you for you to get between getting the house under contract and actually wholesaling the property? How long did it took you? That one was kind of tricky because it was double closed. Oh. That one, so we closed and then we sold on the market. So okay. I'm an alcoholic, an alcoholic addict. So in 2017, like I lost it all. So I drink for a long, long time. And at 37, was my stopped and I have been sober for five years. And That's I've, amazing. And I've been real estate investor for three years. So Flavia, share with us, how was your first deal? That was a very funny one. I had in a car accident with this guy. He was really mad. I was wrong. I hit him and we stopped at this gas station and he's mad and I'm about to move, you just slow me down and I'm retiring. And I was like, wait a minute, you're moving? Where are you going? To Mexico. I said, all right, let me see. Let me, maybe we can do something together. And it was by the lake in Austin. Then we spoke and worked together the deal. And then a week after he called me and we closed the deal. She couldn't sell the house at that time. And that is when you decide to approach him like I can help you as an investor. No, I approached him at the gas station. I was like, all right. So he was very like, no, I don't want it. I don't need help. And I was like, all right, you just keep me in mind that we're going to be talking anyways over this week. Let's keep in touch about this house. And, and then at the end of the week, he was, it's all to me. Really? That's and that. And what was the fear that you were going through, of course, to the car accident, but you saw an opportunity there that it may be your first deal? How, what was the fear that was going through your mind at the time? How am I going to fund this deal? That was my fear. Like, uh, I didn't have the money. How I would fund, like, a cash deal. How much was the house? Uh, $399, so it was about $400, but it was by the way. Like, I'm one block away from the water. Really? And how much money did you make on that deal? Since I didn't bring my own funding, so I made only $20,000. But if I had brought my own funding, I would have made it. Did you wholesale that contract? Yes, we wholesale. How long did it took you for you to get between getting the house under contract and actually wholesaling the property? How long did it took you? That one was kind of tricky because it was double closed. Oh. That one, so we closed and then we sold on the market. What was the lesson that you learned from that particular one? Well, I wouldn't have wholesale that one. I would have flipped. If that's the lesson I would learn. I learned from that one because the location was really good, it was by the water, I should not have wholesale that. I should have like, fixed a little bit and I would have made close jobs. And, and that's one of the things that a lot of people that want to become a real estate investor, they, they believe I want to start as a wholesaler. And every single person that sits here with me, they always share, yes, I did wholesale, but there is one regret. I should not have wholesale that particular deal because you know, when a good deal comes in, it's you got to take advantage of that. So, well, thanks for sharing that with us. Where are you from originally? I'm from Brazil. Born and raised? Born and raised. Do you have a kid now? Yes. So what is the difference between you growing up in Brazil in a third world country versus, you know, someone that was born in the U.S.? I grew up in a very small town, very little. I would never think possible that I would speak another language. My son is in a totally different spot. My son is already planning to go high school in Iceland, another country, another continent. What were your parents doing that time in Brazil? What was their background? My dad is a doctor. It's a very little town. So my dad is the little doctor in town. And my mom was just a housewife. My mom is very Brazilian-like. My dad is very Japanese-like. So it was a lot of conflict. You don't know who you are. Did they encourage you to go to college for you to have a career? How was it? Yeah, they encouraged us to go to college. But they got divorced seven times, got back together seven times. They remarried now, like last year, they want to go back together and both of them are married. So it was a little tricky neighborhood, childhood. Then it was a really tricky one. But my brother, my sister, and I were in three siblings. We put ourselves in college. We got a 100% scholarship. So we didn't need parents anymore, like to pay our Expensive. university and everything. So I'm an economist. I graduated my major in economist. My brother's geologist. 
and my sister is an architect. And uh, what was your previous career before you became a real estate investor? I had a, a bakery before. I lost the bakery. Um, and then I bought a part of the farmer's market, a portion of the farmer's market. Um, then COVID came in and I lost it again. So I was like pretty much hopeless. I was beat up personally, beat up socially, you're beat up because you cannot go anywhere. And then I found this group online and everything was through the internet and I found hope my song lines and I, I grabbed. Back in Brazil, I worked at the bank. So I was a clerk at the bank uh, until I graduated. So once I graduated, um, there was too much drama going on in my family. I want to stay. So I came up, I became an au pair. I signed up for this program to come to the US and I didn't want to speak any English. So it uh, was a little bold to me, but I just, my heart just told me, like, just go. Uh, so how long did you work as an au pair? Two years. Two years. I, I stayed there and I, I enjoy it a lot. I lived in this family's house, work uh, for them and um, learn English meanwhile. Through all the scenario, what else has happened that you made you add on or change between bakery and farmer's market? What else has happened in your life at the time? I have a little secret. So okay. I'm an alcoholic, an alcoholic addict. So in 2017 like i lost it all uh i was married we got divorced i was in rehab i need to i already had the bakery i work a lot i drink a lot and um so i went to this rehab to recover to try to get this family back together raise my kids and um and in the process i lost the bakery uh, in the process, I got the divorce, but it was a it was a good divorce. It wasn't a bad divorce. Um, but that's what made me rethink about life. Wow. Um, uh, how old were you when you started drinking or using any other other things? Uh, I was 13. So, Third. yeah. So I drink for a long, long time. And at 37 was when I stopped. And I have been sober for five years. And what made you interested in become a real estate investor? Oh, okay. So, do you see yourself ever going back to the farmer's market in the bakery? Absolutely. Oh my gosh, I just found my niche. I love real estate. I love the real estate, live real estate deals, excitement, networking. What motivates you as a real estate investor uh, that you get up every day? To make money was a blast. I felt in my bones. And of course, I like the money. There is like this this person the other day, we were on the phone and I helped them to save their, their house because I had some knowledge I could share with them. And they blast so much on the phone, like the word. What other challenge do you face throughout your day? Uh, as a real estate investor, the beginning I thought I thought like oh maybe I'm not gonna get it because it's the second language was a totally new vocabulary. Uh, for example, I never heard about lease. I did not know what lease meant when I I came. My world was baker, you know. So at the beginning of uh, uh, the because it's kind of like overwhelming when you're doing the nine weeks to learn. You have to learn, and after that. I got my first deal, freedom, the enjoyment. And that. how did you learn about the real estate investing? To a friend. And I already told you, like, the times you saved my life. Well, you changed, changed, changed my life. You know, and it, it goes back in the day, social media does work uh, if you know how to use it for good. Uh, social media can be a heartbreaking, but it can help with so many people because they see our transformation depending on how we share and what we wanted to share on social media. And you have transformed my life as well. What was your big aha moment in clarity with the process as a real estate investor? Uh, was when I got the check. That was a really like aha moment. It was like, are you kidding me? In the bakery, I worked this 
for years to get this check. And this one has been like a month I got this check. And it wasn't only one, and the other one was coming, and the other one was coming. And I was like, wow. It's, what it's, have I been doing my entire life? It's amazing that, you know, real estate has been here since I know myself, and it's been here for decades. And I didn't know that I could become a real estate investor. So what was the craziest deal that you have done so far? I have like three that really touched me. One just happened a few days ago uh, in Brady, Texas. And I, I was supposed to be in Brady today, you know. Um, but the first one was by Lakeway. Um, I went to this guy's house. He came with the gun and he told me, get out of my yard. And the second one, um, that was a house in, in San Antonio that I, oh, I'm talking to the guy. There, there's a lockbox with the door. The house is empty. So just walking in, we are talking to get this house. I opened the, the lockbox, got in. Somebody broke in, was living in the house. Um, so once I opened the door at the bathroom, he was there. So we were face to face and he was scared with a knife. And I ran like a kitty kitty. Mine, I got kicked out, out of a house. So the lady invited me in and uh, she was super nice and we're ready to, to talk and go over all the options. And she, her bunny died and she was not in a good time. Was not, I was not in the right time at her house and she kicked me out. So tell me about the Brady situation, uh, this particular property. The Brady situation is a um, few days ago, like a, um, he got this house, he wants to sell it. I made him an offer, he accepted. So, um, so he opens the door with this machete and he's by his front, um, hanging on the belt, this machete like this. And I was like, whoa. Uh, tell me a little bit about the deal that you are working uh, right now here in uh, near Georgetown. How did you find that deal? So somebody needs help at the A and they go, hey, I have this, uh, mobile home would you be interested and that's how somebody brought me then helped him he helped me the mobile they, it was about to leave the property wow the home. and uh, what is the the biggest challenge that you are going through with this project right now the biggest challenge yes. is the price the market price went down like it got a real we we can base the price would be x and now the price is X minus all scams. So that's why I always make sure buy it right because regardless of the economy going up or down, you want to make sure you don't worry about the economy, you worry about your deal and your money. So what is the purchase price for this particular deal? It's 56000 And uh, what is the renovation cost on this one? So what is the, the sales on, on this one? One forty. We already got it. We haven't even finished the project. We already have two buyers. How many deals have you done in total since you became a real estate investor? About, to be honest, especially when it's wholesale, it is so fast, you you don't really count. How do you feel about your success today? I what I want to do, and I'm excited to wake up every morning, and I have a lot of dreams. Um, how much has real estate transformed your life? Woof! 180 angle. Like, transform. I am so happy right now. Are you proud of your accomplishments so far? I am proud um, that I got my house with my kiddo. Um, bills are paid. Um, business is moving along. I travel, uh, which I never traveled before. Uh, this year already went ski, went scoop dive, like things that I would never imagine. And I already did those two things already this year. So real estate, like a, ah, I love it. And uh, who do you like to thank for you to be here today? First God, I think I'm still alive because God had mercy on me. Then you, and then Phil and Chanel. Uh, because if it wasn't you, I would never meet Phil and Chanel. So, um, I'm really thankful. What advice that you have uh, for someone that is sitting there thinking about changing career? Don't give up on your dreams. Have a hope. Have a hope that better days come. Dig it in. It's your life. It's 
that's your future, your family. You must earn it. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with us? Just thank you. Like, in the bottom of my heart. Well, you know, it's always a pleasure to, to be around you and to see your growth and to see your success. And, uh, and I can I can wait for the future uh, to see what's next uh, on our real estate investing.